You are of infinite price. You are priceless. The whole world is not worth your soul. When God spoke all of creation into being, what did it cost him? So, well, he took six days out of his life to do it. Yeah, six days taken out of eternity leaves how much of eternity left? Well, it took him a lot of energy to make all of that. Yeah, if he poured all that energy into making suns and stars and clusters and constellations, how much of his omnipotence did he have left? He poured his genius into creating all of these interlocking moving parts in perfect balance that hold galaxies together in outer space and protons and neutrons in inner space and everything in between. And after he did all that, how much omniscience did he have left over? God was not one bit older or weaker or poorer for creating the entire universe. It didn't cost him a thing. Universes are literally dirt cheap to God. He can speak them into existence, and it's nothing to him to do that. When the angels fell from heaven, what did God sacrifice to rescue them? Nothing. He lets them just descend into the darkness that they've chosen. The whole creation groans and travails in pain. What is God going to sacrifice to rescue the creation around us? Nothing. Someday he's going to let it all implode back into the great nothing from whence he called it in the beginning. And he'll just speak a new one into existence. Universes are replaceable. Humans are not. Universes are throwaway. One goes wrong, he just speaks another one uncursed into existence. Creating the universe cost him nothing. Creating mankind cost him everything. Creating the universe for God was easy. Rescuing mankind cost him his blood. He sweat drops of blood for it. Creating the universe, he did it in six days, and he only dragged it out that long to be a pattern for man's work week. Someday when he makes the whole new universe into being, he'll do it in a single day. But he works for years rescuing soul, the souls of men. You are infinitely precious, and that is not true of anything else in all of creation what did he do to rescue you? He did what he had to, whatever it took. He gave everything to rescue you. Romans 8.32 says, He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? There is nothing God would not do. There is no length he would not go to to rescue you. 